Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be understanding about the upcoming lecture where we are going to perform some kind of uh, VM deployment and we use the Azure Key Vault. So let's understand uh, what we are going to do. So as a first step, I will be creating Azure Key Vault, uh, which is directly from the Azure portal. And then within the Azure Key Vault, I'm going to create a secret key uh, to store a password uh, with the name called VM admin password uh, which is a template name so this is the uh, this should be the same because uh, in the next phase I'm going to create actually ARM template for a creation of a VM so in the VM creation uh, for the password value to store this should be the same value should be this so uh, if you are doing also you should be following the same thing because that's the sculpture that's the template value so that must be exist so and uh, coming back to uh, next step once we have created a secret key i'm going to create a uh, i will run with a virtual machine creation wizard but i'll cancel uh, instead of creating the virtual machine i'll just download the arm template uh, so that i will uh, have the azure vm creation arm template and i'll be a little bit modifying the arm template to fit uh, that means to connect to Azure Key Vault services uh, integration uh, that's that's where I need to enter a Azure Key Vault ID and then also the secret key which we have uh, stored so the value would be the again uh, VM admin password that secret uh, value should be given inside inside this ARM template so so for what we uh, we understand is we'll create a key vault and then we uh, also have a secret value for VM admin password that's the administrative password for the VM to store and that's a secret because if you try to enter any of the password that should be a secret so the secret of that password is storing under VM admin uh, value and uh, what we do is we will be creating a template and we will modify that ARM template uh, to use our Azure Key Vault services and the secret value that's a secret uh, name in this case vm admin password and then we will deploy that uh, with the powershell or maybe azure cli uh, azure cli we will deploy with that and uh, when we are deploying it will not ask for a password to be entered because it gets directly connected to the azure key vault services and then it uses the secret value uh, within that whatever the password was there that password will be uh, taken and uh, it creates a VA and later point I will be also showing how to connect and definitely it's a normal process to connect uh, I would be creating a Linux VM so uh, we would connect with SSH uh, that uh, that concludes the demo so it, it includes a key vault a production key vault service how to create as well as the how best we can securely store a secret and recall within Azure services uh, to use the Azure uh, ARM model so remember that for uh, to use the ARM model we need to have a specific checkbox to be enabled that is also uh, I will not be enabled and I'll try to deploy let's see you know what happens whatever the error we are getting and later point we will be enabling with that ARM uh, provisioning method then it will actually success uh, so that concludes the complete demo let's open cloud shell from Azure portal and we'll keep it this in the minimized state and later we will connect to, uh, from the Microsoft Azure portal to navigate to the key vault so this has been connected cloud shell so I'll try to minimize this completely or drag and drop or minimize I'll be creating a key vault so I'll just search for the key vault there's no key vault service so I'm gonna click on create new key vault so I will be choosing here a meaningful resource group or my existing resource group in my case demo VMs and I'll stick everything with issues I'll give you a name here like we can give here web app IUSU projects and I'll stick as I said issues and for the pricing tier uh, as you, as we discussed earlier standard and premium so premium where you have even the pricing uh, for the hardware third-party hardware where you can also integrate 
the hardware key vaults uh, but here everything is a software so we are trying with the standard key vault at this point um, i'll just go with the everything is a default like retention period of 90 days and purge protection is disabled all that are going to be by default for me and that would actually create so this is very important here if you see here three check boxes for enabling access so these things uh, if you look at here the first check box is talking about uh, azure virtual machines for the deployment other one would be the azure resources that's arm model for the template template based deployment let's say we open the cloud shell and we try to deploy with a template then it doesn't work if you don't have this checkbox so i'll take this uh, for now and later point i'll take it out i mean i'll remove and i'll try to deploy it as part of this demo and see you know what kind of address we would be getting it so that's what i'm going to test it uh, in a minute or so for now uh, let's go to the networking so i wanted to grant my a key vault for public network or to just to the specific network let's see here I can configure uh, if I just go for uh, public that means everything is open and if I just configure for a selected network select the VNAIDs and later point even I can configure even firewall specific settings also so in my case I'm just choosing the public uh, endpoint and remaining settings are by default actually so i can skip them i'll be creating here with a click on create after validation so this would take a minute or so to get it created in my key vault so it got deployed now i'll be just going back to my key vault and this is my overview and as a next step i'm actually creating a secret file uh, as the manual so here if you see here this certificate based is uh, depreciated so everybody is using only a manual now so i'll just enter here a name called vm admin password so remember this name is completely a standard format so because we're going to use this name uh, because it's actually a arm template name so it's the schema name so you can't use a different name so you use this name so that when you're trying to deploy a virtual machine from your ARM templates uh, this name should be matched so that's why we have given here, here the exact name and then if the password must be so I give you a simple password and you can type your content type with the optional pass uh, optional name for example vm password you can even set for the activation date maybe in the future date if you want or even uh, you can set even expiry date for a future date so that it's going to expire maybe a next month or something like that so let's create this so it's going to create a secret so what we have done is now we actually uh, created a secret key here so this is a secret key and uh, let's open that secret key and show you um, if I just open up that so whatever the password I have entered that I should be able to see that's a secret identifier number and uh, if I just click on show secret value that's an ID which is uh, showing for me that's a VM password which is a description so let's go back to we have now uh, two things like we have the key vault and as well as the secret Okay, now just copy this resource ID from the properties so that we can use this later point uh, when we try to edit the ARM template. So as a next step, I would be actually going back to, I'll just copy paste this into my notepad and I'll be creating here a virtual machine, a sample virtual machine. So I'll just try to run this entire VM creation and then I'll download the ARM template in the zip format and then I would be editing my all the parameters file uh, then so this is going to be aligning so I'll just take the lesser pricing and open to server I'm gonna deploy so I have sticked for the East US and I'll just give here uh, password based to not the SSH public key so I'll just uh, choose as the password and uh, that way it actually so if you see here uh, that's a different password what I have entered and the later point I would be actually entering the password which is from my uh, 
key vault uh, which we entered that value will be used so I'll choose here default settings like uh, I'll be creating here vnet so that a name standard will be there vnet01 and also for the public IP also I'll give as a public IP hyphen zero one or something like that so that it will be more standard because it's going to be a template for me so I'll just give here zero one and then click OK and to NSGs and everything is default so I'm not going to change anything uh, I'll be again working on my management so under management tab I'll be working so here I will be actually disabling boot diagnostic and OS diagnostic all that you know unwanted things I don't want to get some errors uh, so I'll just leave that for a quicker and easy method so remaining all the steps are uh, actually default and now if you see here I have an option here download a template for automation purpose so I'll just click on that uh, instead of I create so that would actually take it here and one more time download so this would actually shows me here all the variables and the resources and parameters all that value so here is sort of um, I edit here uh, JSON file I'll just actually open up my zip file and then work on directly on the notepad so you see here admin user id all that so this is where i'm gonna work on it so i'll just open up my template.zip file and you see here two files out there i'll just copy them and paste into a empty folder here and and i will be actually editing here so that i can work with my azure key vault services where with my secret key so I wanted to pull the password with the help of the secret key uh, instead of the actual password so you see here uh, I have uh, here admin password which is ending uh, last of the this document if you see here this is where admin password is there so I wanted uh, here uh, replace these values with some other values which are specific to uh, my key vault and other information so I'll just copy till that exactly that location and then I'll be simply pasting that value which I have already written so if you see here admin password is this and the reference ID and key vault so key vault is the ID which is key vault ID which I need to copy paste the key vault ID which we copy pasted in a text and this is going to be secret name so let's see what I can copy paste so the first thing I need to go to key vault ID so which I have already copy pasted in a notepad uh, when we or when we created actually key pa uh, key vault from the properties we have taken this value so I'll just take that copy value and then uh, paste it under double quotes so that it'll be inside the double quotes and now it's time for us to enter the secret name the secret name is the VM admin password which is the template of uh, standard name which needs to be same if you give a different name it doesn't work so let me save this file so this uh, should be looks like this uh, let me save so now I have the two files which are ready so I'll just go back to cloud shell and I will be uploading these two files one by one up to cloud shell so let me go back here and there are only two files there are nothing actually so I'll just be uploading the first one is only getting uploaded which is a parameter JSON file I have to upload one more file manually I'll just click on one more time let's see uh, let's type ls and see if you see here parameters or json file single file has been uploaded nothing else so i need to one more time upload the file which is pending which is template file so i'll just click on that upload this time template and now that also has been uploaded let's see ls so now i'm able to see here both the files has been uploaded now it's a time for us to use uh, these template and parameter file to create 
a virtual machine out of these templates. So I have a already a command which I have already uh, typed in a notepad. I'll be just pasting here and I'll be explaining. So if you see here, uh, the file is actually the command line is very simple, which talks about AZ deployment. That's Azure deployment uh, to create a resource group or under resource group called demo VMS, uh, which we have already demo VMs and the template file name is template.json file, which we are going to use that JSON format file and the parameters for that JSON file already mentioned under parameter.json file. So that's how it was designed this query. So in your case, you can change. So we got an error because uh, we didn't uh, enable Azure Resource Manager for template deployment. I did actually uncheck that uh, later point to just to show you the error for you. So uh, let me reconfigure that so that it works for us uh, for this deployment so yeah, if you just go back to access policies and you see here uh, there was no checkboxes or enable now so I have to take Azure resource manager for template deployment and click on save so this would actually enables me uh, or gives me an option where I can deploy even uh, or it can actually solve my key vault for ARM based template deployments also. So I'll just enter the same command and this time it's actually running in the background. This might take some time, so I'm just fast forwarding this entire video just for. And it's finished, and you can see here it's a successfully deployed provisioning status success. So it's time for me to connect to the VM with the password which we have given. Uh, as the as your demo at one two three hyphen so actually that's a password so what I will be doing is I'll just go back to the VM and you can see here the VM is successfully deployed by using that password from the key vault services so as you can use all these uh, methods standard methods to use for SSH I to connect to that virtual machine or I can use uh, even the putty based connection so I'll be just using the uh, putty based connection I'll simply open up my putty here and uh, I'll just enter the IP address that's a 52.149.132.210 which I'll just copy paste and open so this time it's going to actually ask King for logon user so which we have given as a username called as your user which we enter while creating the VM and this time it is actually asking for the password which we have given as your demo at one two three asterisk that's a shift one or what we have given so once I enter that password I'm able to successfully log into Ubuntu server so I hope this lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this we will be continuing in the future uh, once again wherever it is possible to work with as you key vault services we would be uh, utilizing them as part of our this course thank you for watching this we'll catch you later